Okay, in this part two of the video, again, I want to get the, the uh, torque spec out of the way, okay? Uh, so, basically, um, that is a technical name for the solenoid valve. I'm going to call it so, uh, solenoid valve C, okay? Uh, on here, the torque is 8.7 foot-pound. It has four mounting bolts, okay? And that's what the gasket looks like, and look like it have a screen tube, okay? The screen tube right there, that's what needs to be cleaned, Okay? Uh, when I took it apart, this is what my gasket looked like, okay? So my gasket is the same rubber gasket, but instead of the screen tube, they have a built-in string, okay? So I don't have to take the screen tube out. So uh, that's something you need to keep in mind when you uh, take out your transmission. This may be like that, or it may be like this, okay? Um, there is the Honda park number. Uh, and on the part number, that's what it listed, the name of it, Sono Assembly Linear, okay? I get the C from the repair manual. And after I replace Sono Valve C, I'm going to go ahead and change the transmission fluid. As you see, the torque spec on that uh, transmission drain plug is 36 foot-pound, okay? I am going to replace this um, gasket, the aluminum gasket here, okay? And let me see, on here it shows that the transmission um, capacity, okay, if you're just changing it, then it's 3.5 quart. Uh, if you overhaul it, then it's 8.3, okay? Okay, so in order to uh, locate this uh, solenoid valve, I have to go under the car, okay, and um, take out the bottom cover to get access to it. Okay, so let's get started. So now I'm going to show you how to take the uh, bottom cover off, okay? So first thing you want to do, uh, I, I, I assume that when you uh, have to take this off, you walk underneath your car, okay? Uh, so I put my own jack stand, so make sure the parking brake is on, okay? And I put the jack where the tow bar is at, in the center of the car. I lift it up, and for the jack stand, you have to... Put it right between the two metal park right there, okay, on the car, all right. And when you do it, when you put it in, make sure you lift it up as high as as you can, okay. Because if you don't lift it up as high, let's say if you just put it in like that, when you drop it down, this car gonna come down uh, that much faster, okay, and it'll make a big old noise. So you want to lift it up as high as you can. Do this on both sides, okay? Back to the jacket and slowly, when I do, release the pressure. Slowly, sometimes slowly is not the right way. Okay, so in that case right there, it dropped pretty easy. Okay, so what you wanna do next is start put your hand on the car and start shaking it to make sure that it's stable. And at this point, what you can do is you can take the jack out. It's the pin on your jaw, okay? So I'm I'm on the left front here, on the left wheel, okay? So to remove this cover is really easy. All you need is a screwdriver. And all you do is find this uh, tab right in here, okay? I'll show you, okay? So that's where your strut is at, right there where the fender is at. If you look really closely, you can see a slot up there. What you want to do is take a screwdriver and put it in that slot and pry it up, okay? Now, sometimes sometime these things are broken or it's getting old or what, you need to replace it, okay? So for this job, just pull them straight out like that, okay? So you see the size of it, okay? So what I do, I label this L1, and each one that I take out, I label, okay? So the next thing you want to do, you want to crawl in the car. And side right here, you're gonna see one, okay? So you're gonna see one that looks similar. So what you wanna do, take a screwdriver and you pry it out the same way. This one fall off, okay? You notice the side different, right? This is the short side, the short one. So I, I, I put a mark on here. S1 stand for short one because I start on the left side, okay? Because you have two sides here, okay? This one is the long side, and this one is the short side, okay? So, you do that, 
you go and you do that and each time you do each time you find out the long one you label L and the number the short one you label S and the number okay so you do that uh, if you look at this you're gonna see like this is L2 you look down the line you see L3 L4 L5 L6 all right and then one on the other side the fender that's gonna be L7 so total you get seven long okay and on the inside here on the short one if you go if you continue to go down it's like I continue to go, go down here I see this one here this one right here pretty much right right in the center of the car this one here I take it out and see it short so I label S2 for short okay all right so you go through and you do all that so I'm on the uh, right side of the fender here okay so here you you got one long one also in here okay okay the center piece come out and then this piece come out okay so this one here I will label it L7 okay okay so for this for this front cover on this car it takes seven of these long one and five of these short one okay seven on the um, soft from uh, two on the side five up front and then on the inner one is uh five uh on on the inner one which is take the short one okay so after you done taking all these pin out all right so pay attention before you pull this panel out okay because as you can see on i'm i'm, I'm at the right side okay so as you can see on the right side you're gonna see this edge right here Okay, that one go on top of the cover, and the cover slide, you know, it slide underneath the bumper. Okay, so what you want to do, put your hand here or something you cover, just push it toward the, the uh, inside of the car and just pull them out. If you got all five in the center, it should move out like that. Okay, so just so you have to remember, this edge right here will go over the cover okay or go over the cover but they are tucked underneath the bumper okay so that's how I remove it okay so here's a solenoid okay so basically transmission drain plug going up until you see that ground cable and that where that ground cable is is where the solenoid uh, is okay so there's a connection cable you press in okay you're gonna need two hands for this you press in uh, inward on this tab and wiggle it until you pull it out okay after you pull out just go hide it somewhere so it be out of the way for you all right like that so it's uh, very hard for me to uh, record underneath the car so um, so I'm gonna show you um, on this uh, picture here so so easy for you to understand okay uh, when you this is a solenoid right here okay this is a solenoid all right so what what you need is a 10 millimeter socket one and a half inch extension and a 38 ratchet okay with this setup you are able to take out that bolt right there that bolt right there and that bolt up here okay you're not gonna have problem breaking it loose and take it out Okay, you are going to have a problem with this bolt right here, okay, because of this ground cable is in the way. All right, so what you need to do is, uh, is add 3 in extension, okay, um, replacing that 1.5 inch with the 3 inch extension, and you'll be able to take out that bolt on top, the one by the ground cable, all right. So keep in mind that uh, when you when you uh, take all the bolt out on the last bolt, okay, on the last bolt when you take out, this whole thing gonna fall on you, okay. So you uh, fluid gonna leak out and uh, this thing gonna fall on you, and you are under the car, okay. So be aware of that. Wear safety goggle. So as soon as the bolt that that bolt right above this, this electrical connection come out this whole thing drop out like so okay 
unlike the other one I have to pry it out so I'm going to try to guide this out of here and there it is okay inside here there's a gasket okay here's a solenoid there's a gasket so I'm going to lay this down and see a little bit and there it is okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean this up clean the area up and uh, working on this solenoid valve okay so there it is all right I was uh spray the uh, rag with the brake cleaner and wipe that area clean okay so there's the solenoid is I'm gonna clean this area up and uh, and uh, put on the new gasket so you clean it all right uh, here's a here's an old one and the new one fit perfectly so you notice the uh, strainer go on the inside Okay, it's curved inward uh, toward the solenoid. All right. So what I'm gonna do is um, go install um, install this thing on the car. Okay. So when you slide this solenoid in, okay, you're gonna need two hands. All right. One to uh, hold it and guide it, guide um, guide it, and then the other one put in this bolt. Okay. Um, after you put all four. Uh, all four bolt in uh, kind of like hand tied it uh, use this sequence as a reference because you know you need to crisscross it uh, to make sure the the gasket tied down evenly okay once you hand tied it in all the way then you can um, tie it with the regular uh, ratchet and then after that what you want to do you want to torque this down to uh, 8.7 foot pound okay uh, the 3.8 torque grand do fit uh, in this tight space, okay? Uh, so, um, the same thing, you use uh, one and a half extension for these three bolts here. Bolt 2, 3, and 4, okay? And then for bolt number 1, you have to use the 3 inch uh, extension, okay? And after you're done, uh, reconnect the connector back here. Very important that you do that, okay? Otherwise, you're going to get a check engine light. Um, and your car don't shift uh, properly. Okay, so reconnect the connector and you're pretty much done here, okay? Okay, so after you torque that down, uh, put that electrical connection on, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, loosen that uh, transmission drain plug down here and uh, I'm going to um, change the transmission fluid, okay? So for this one, what you need is a 3.8, uh, I use a 3.8 breaker bar, okay? So when I hook the breaker bar on, uh, I'm going to swing it toward the end of the car to loosen it, okay? And then when I tight it, I would swing it uh, toward the front of the car, okay? So locate the transmission drain plug, which is right underneath, I guess, underneath that solenoid valve. Just run your finger down. Do you see this right here, okay? Transmission drain plug. Uh, you're gonna need a 3 8 I'm using 3 8 breaker bar. And of course, you know you you uh, put it in there, and you just uh, I just broke it loose, All right? Of course, put the pan underneath and start draining in the transmission fluid. Now it's very important on these transmission fluid. Uh, what I do when I change the transmission fluid is uh, whatever I take out I put in okay uh, so there it is right there see me taking time drain this out because I don't want it to spill all over the place and then it's hard for me to calculate how many quart I have to put in so I'm gonna let that thing drain and come back so when this thing finishes draining clean up uh, Make sure you clean the uh, manic on the drain plug. Put a new uh, gasket on there, aluminum washer, okay? Uh, replace with a new one. Start, reinstall this drain plug. 
and uh, torque this down to according to Honda um, technical manual is 36 foot pound okay all right and I'm gonna set my torque pound to 36 foot pound on that uh, on that uh, drain plug okay okay so I'm using a standard extension and the torque wrench and torch it down to 36 foot pound okay this is how much I got out of it look like four and a half quart okay uh, I really have problem finding the right filter to fill this in the past so I take out the dipstick and uh, put a little filter in there like so and I'm gonna slowly pour four and a half quart transmission fluid in there okay Okay, so there it is, okay? I have a clamp on hole onto the funnel so I can show it on the camera. Basically, you pour it in nice and slow because the funnel down there, you pour it too fast. It's going to overflow, okay? So what you want to do is nicely, slowly pour it in. Okay, so soon I done put in um, four quart. I'm going to hold onto that half of the quart. Um, that way when I warm up the engine... You know, uh, make sure the engine warm up and then I recheck it and I add in that half the quart, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm put the dipstick back on, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, put the rest of the, uh, the intake and the battery back in and test this thing. Okay, so to put back this cover, okay, all I do is I align this. I started on the left side here, okay, and remember the area where the L1 going to, right, if you're looking up the fender, it have to go through this, through this slot right here, okay, and then what I want to do is I want to align my S1, which is the short one, uh, the short one, which is right, right, right there, okay into that hole right there okay so I'm gonna align my left side in first okay so you basically align your S1 in first so it hold this thing up for you okay align this hole in and what I do is I push this in so it hold this thing in place for you like that all right there you go. The S1 go in first, okay? And this thing here, you know that that the cover going to go right underneath this big piece here, okay? So what you want to do is you can tilt this big piece and then and then put it underneath the bumper and slide it in like that, okay? And you do that throughout that whole side. Remember, this cover go underneath the bumper, okay? And so what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to come over here and align my, uh, the first one I take out, which is the L1. Okay, I'm going to align that in. There it is, okay? Yes, align, use two hands, okay? Push the bottom piece in, and then using this piece, I just press it in like that, okay? So you got your L1 and your S1 in. Now what you want to do is go underneath here and just bring this side up and just tuck it underneath as you move all the way to the right side okay remember the cover go underneath the bumper and then when you get to the right side on this one here you have to readjust it all right that way you can move the cover inside and what you want to do is you know slide it underneath and it should all slide in one place like that okay so on the right side here, when you get to the right side, you know the corner which is the one right above your oil filter. That one needs to be aligned up that hole right there. So once you put this in, everything is in place. But it's aligned that hole right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my S5 right there, okay? And there it is, I'm on the right side fender, my S5 going in. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with the rest of the S, it's one down here, 
on the edge so I'm just gonna line this thing in and this would be my S4 as I label it okay push it in and then you just crawl underneath here all right and then find my S3 okay and then keep going until you find your S2 and aligned it and put it in. When I label this, it's easy for you to uh, find it. And then it's also provide a location. Okay? And now I just go back because once I have everything in, I just gonna align, find my L and then put it in. Okay? And remember, on the on the front side of the bumper there's five and then I got the L L1 on the left bumper and then I got the L7 on the right side bumper okay this I got all the all the L uh, up front aligned and then the last one I go is the L7 which is the last one here okay on the right side fender just take your time sure let's go into the hole like that okay take the outer piece push it in now some of these pieces come uh might come out all the way okay but some of the pieces they just come out and and it won't come out all the way so keep keep that in mind okay so after you put in the cover because you know you do it right because seven of the long one and then uh five of the short one in okay you pretty much done put I'm gonna take this car off the jack stand, okay? All right, so basically, put it where the tow bar is at. And you just make sure it's center. Just jack it up. And you should hear, you should hear the uh, jack stand sound as uh, the car lift off it. Okay, then what you're going to do, you go out here, okay, make sure the jack stand off it, the handle, lift it up, pull it out, do the same on this side, lift it back up, pull it out, make sure nothing is underneath here, alright, what you want to do is slowly load this down, okay, that's how you take the car off the jack stand. Okay, so um, I'm ready to put back the uh, intake, uh, the uh, air box, okay? What I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, put the uh, air filter in first, okay? Um, because it's easy for me to show it on the video. Uh, you see the this filter here, the word up, um, facing up, and of course uh, toward the front of the car, okay? Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this intake here. I'm going to slide it underneath this uh, cruise cable, okay? Remember, I do this with one hand, so it's more difficult for me, but more easier for you, okay? And what I do next is uh, I'm going to slide this thing, this intake, uh, to align this up, okay? So I'm going to need two hands for this. Okay, so once you align this thing in like so, what you want to do is tilt this and hook on that metal piece pipe okay let it align in and what you want to do now is on on this this side here with one hand push it in and rotate so you see that aligning mark go right there okay so basically you push it in and you rotate it into that align that aligning mark align what you want to do now is tie up that that hose clamp right here with the 10 millimeter okay okay so now with a 10 millimeter i'm going to tie down this intake hose okay um, make sure that alignment mark still aligned there okay and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook on the battery cable that go underneath here all right and then there's two vacuum hose that need to be hooked up one of them is a small vacuum hose it's coming from the intake here 
down to that um, that diaphragm right there okay another one is a little bit larger inside but it locate right underneath the starter cable the starter cable right there okay make sure you hook these two in like so all right so i'm using an eight millimeter tie out my uh, air filter the the box here so eight millimeter tie down these four bolts okay the next thing you want to do is this pipe right here make sure it push all the way in okay all the way in okay okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave this cruise control cable unhooked because what i'm going to do i'm going to put in my battery right here okay so after i got my battery in what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook on this positive terminal and then these two wire need to be put them back on the side of the cable box here okay okay so once you have the battery in place okay i hook on the positive terminal first i leave the negative uh disconnected okay that way when you tie this down i'm going to tie this down with a 10 millimeter okay when you the reason you want to leave the negative out that way uh when you tie the positive one if you accidentally touch the body part it won't throw a spark okay so after you tie that in now what you want to do make sure the cover is back so it won't touch anything all right now you put the neg uh, the negative one back in all right now i tied it and i like to put it like way to the side there because um because i do battery maintenance uh, for this battery so i have to take out this cover so i have to um you know put it on the side that way easy for me to take out this cover when i need to add some water all right so after you type down the negative battery terminal all right what i do is i use two hand to push this cable on the side because this is a maintenance battery so every six months i check it and i take this cover off and um, you know to add in uh, add the water into the battery okay so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the battery holder, um, the battery holder or the anti-battery tap device. And there it is, okay? If you're using the original uh, Honda, you can see it say the word F on there, stand for front. So make sure that thing is on front. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I guess, align this hook to... Um, to the, I guess you can call the eyelet. I guess you can call it, I don't know if that's a new dictionary word I just created or what, but right there, okay? So I got that in. All I have to do is hold it, and I like this thing to be right in the center so, so I can uh, manually open these cover, okay? So what I'm gonna do with a 10 millimeter deep socket, uh, I'm gonna tie this thing down. Alright, so there it is, okay, this thing here don't have to be super, super tight, okay, just uh, snug, okay. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cover back on, starting now with this cover down here. So with this one, all you do is line up the bolt hole, and you pretty much slide that in, okay, and then this alignment pin here needs to go in, like so. Take the screwdriver and give it a quarter of a ton okay this one here is optional uh, to take out on this project okay reason i take out because i tried to locate the other solenoid the one that underneath the car okay uh, so i try to see if i can get it on top but apparently not so um, next time i'm doing it uh, i don't need to take this one out okay this cover here go in one way okay so make sure you read that word honda <laughs> from left to right okay <laughs> yeah 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 you laughing but you know eh, never know right so uh, okay so basically to line up these bolt uh, 10 millimeter and tie down the four bolt okay so there it is okay 10 millimeter deep socket okay make sure you get all four bolt tight uh, it don't have to be super super tight okay 
just snug them, okay? And lastly, make sure your um, cruise control cable is snap in. And that's it, okay? This project is done. Alright, so uh, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.